We're just making a protein shake. All right, guys. So, as you can tell, I'm taking a protein shake, and I'm probably shaking the crap out of this camera. So I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod. Ah. Shaking. All right, guys. So today, day three of getting you guys videos, three days in a row. I'm trying hard for you guys right now. It's freaking. 2055, which is 855, and I still got a shower because we just got back from the gym. And I did a video for you guys today. Avil and I are going to be doing uh, marine combat training. Before we get into the video, you guys need if you guys aren't following me on Instagram or Facebook, go check it out. The link will be in the description below. I'm gonna be coming out with t-shirts, like just for like a trial run. So I want my own shirts. I'm probably gonna make about 70 of them. So if you guys want them, you gotta let me know in the comments so I can get a, a range about. Uh, how many I'm gonna have to make and uh, so they'll be available on Teespring on Friday but I'll let you guys know when they when I have them up for sale anyway so back into the video we're gonna talk about ring combat training today with Avila we're gonna be grinding on these freaking videos because we gotta get them out for you guys keep getting these videos to you so how we're gonna finish up our protein I don't know if we're gonna shower before or after I'm saying I don't know it might be a little dirty um well, let's get into the video uh, okay guys, we are back and obviously we showered and changed over. We're in a sweatshirt and sweatpants because it is 63 degrees in here. Actually, it's 64 and a half, but I wanted to sound colder. But I'm not a liar, so I'll be truthful with you guys. If you guys were wondering what the hell is on my head, it's a uh, little cover you have to wear when you're in the back of the chow hall so your hair doesn't get in the food and all that crap. So that's that. So if you guys... Um, or any sort of subscriber to this channel, you know who this guy is, it's Avila. Let me guys, let me know down in the comments below if you guys think he should start a YouTube channel. He's thinking about it, but he's kind of on the, like, he's teetering. He doesn't know yet. So today we're going to talk about marine combat training. I'm from the East Coast, obviously you've been watching my videos, which you should be. If you have, you need to go catch up on them. And he is from the West Coast. We're going to talk about, well, alright, so marine combat, alright. Alright, so, graduate boot camp, you get like, 10 days of boot camp leave, and then you go to your uh, respective combat training, uh, wherever you go, either East Coast or West Coast. Um, wherever you went to boot camp, East Coast or West Coast, you'll stay on that coast for um, your SOI or MCT. I go. I went to Camp Geiger, North Carolina. Where'd you go, Avila? Uh, Camp Pendleton. Camp Pendleton, California. Uh, like the first week for me, we... It's like a receiving week. You get in there, they like they piss test you because you're just on leave. Um, you get all your SIF gear issued to you. You get all your sh sh stuff squared away. You get your stuff you need for the field. Um, and then after that, you get bussed out to Camp Devil Dog. No, no, actually, you go out to the range first. Sorry, it's been a while. You go out to the range first. Uh, is that the same for you guys? What did you guys do? No, for us, you get there and. Pretty much where you piss test is the, I guess you call them barracks or whatever, not barracks, the fucking, um, Squad base? Yeah, yeah, the squad base you're going to stay in. And, uh, for us, they were, they were pretty new buildings, so we didn't get bust out anywhere. Uh, we stayed in a hotel also. I'm just kidding, there's no hotel. Um, yeah, you pretty much just stay in a squad bay, but we don't get bust out anywhere, unlike you guys. So we got bust out to range because it's so far away. Oh, you do? Okay, sorry. Before that, you do a three-mile hike on base. Um, then make sure you get your pack all, like, squared away and stuff. Because you're going to do, like, a three, a five, and a nine-miler, I believe. Um, what you have to pass, you can't fall out of them or anything. You have to pass those to pass MCT. So you can't be a little weakling and fall out. Just push through it. I'm, I promise you I've seen girls that are this big. No offense to all you females, but typically... I'm just gonna be straight up. They can't hike as good as men. I mean, there's some girls. Don't get me wrong. There's some females out there that can PT circles around me, but I'm talking about majority. Um, so you go to the range. You guys are gonna be able to shoot um, the 240, the M240 Bravo machine gun. You're gonna be able to shoot the M203. Do like night shoots uh, with MVGs, night vision goggles. You do um, shooting and moving, like buddy rushing, uh, live firing. So you'll be shooting. And your buddy will run in front of you, he'll get down, he'll start shooting, you'll run in front of him, back and forth, you'll shoot uh, unknown distant ranges, you'll shoot uh, known distant ranges, what else? You also do the unknown distant at night. You do the unknown distant at night, you get to throw a live grenade, which is yeah. pretty badass. That's like one of the best things I've done on Marine Corps still, like, and I've shot 
almost every weapon system in the Marine Corps just about, besides like the M110 and like the, the issued 45 caliber pistol. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Obviously, we didn't shoot mortar tubes or um, like rocket launchers or anything like the AT4s or the javelins, but we're rambling on. So you're going to do all that stuff. You're going to get the range out of the way, all the ranges. That's like the first two weeks for us. Is that the same for you? Yeah. And then for us, we go to Camp Devil Dog. Right, right. And that's where you're going to do all your field training. You're going to do your land nav, learn how to use a map compass. You're going to um, learn how to search a vehicle. You're going to dig a fighting hole, which freaking sucks, especially if you're... Oh my god, if you get, okay, so you get a partner, you and your partner have to dig a fighting hole, which has to be armpit high, so relatively six foot deep, depending on how tall you are, but for us, I went in November of 2015, so it was raining like a mother trucker, and it was terrible, my freaking uh, partner did not help me whatsoever, and you have to do it in your flak, um, I know for you guys it's pretty difficult because of like it's like rocky and shit, right? Yeah, well, the way we did it, it's pretty much the same thing. You just get a partner, and well, my partner is pretty cool, so we kind of took turns. He he did most of the digging. We were like the last ones to finish because I just dug the hole, and he was just a lazy piece of shit. He didn't give a freak. So if you guys go, don't be that one to screw over your buddy because they will remember. Trust me. Um, and you're gonna that's gonna be all day. Thing. You're gonna dig your fighting hole all day. You're gonna be there till dark, pretty much. Then you're going to receive contact. Um, you're going to get a lot of classes. You're not going to get very much sleep because you're going to be standing fire watch and working party. Sometimes you have both in the same night. Um, uh, There's a lot of classes. Like a lot of classes. You're going to be falling asleep. I was falling asleep standing up. I actually fell over sleeping. Like I was standing up, fell over. I'm a sergeant. So I thought I passed out. I was just sleeping. I didn't realize it. Well, until I hit the ground, obviously. Um, Thankfully, it was on the grass. I didn't hurt anything. Um, you don't have to search a vehicle. At the end, you're going to do like a culminating event, and you're going to do like uh, ECP, VCP. You're going to be like in a fob. Uh, you're also going to do like patrols on the woods. You're going to learn how to take contact left, contact right, contact front, rear. You're in some formations, all while you're shooting blanks to simulate like firing, maneuvering, all that good stuff. Um, you guys, it's like more, you don't have like really woods, right? No, it's not. It's, it's a lot more open. Uh, we didn't get blanks. I don't know if West Coast does blanks. Really? Yeah, I know we didn't do them. But there was a, a shit ton of them just laying on the ground. So So your experience might vary a little bit. Um, you're going to be wearing a flak a lot, which is going to suck at first because you don't wear one at all really at boot camp besides like you wear it briefly. Yeah, not very much. Table 2 and like BWT maybe or the Crucible. I can't remember. Yeah, we were doing the Crucible. Um, but... MCT, you're gonna be wearing it. Like, if you're not wearing it, it's gonna be on your pack, which you'll be carrying. And uh, you only have your front and back savvies. When you get to the fleet, you're gonna have your side savvies too, which freaking suck. Um, I wish I could just have front and back now. But you're gonna be doing that. Um, if you dip or smoke, 90% sure you're. Like, they give us like maybe two smoke slash dip breaks the whole time I was there. It's only a month long. You'd be fine. You just went three months without it, so. What's another month? You're gonna get ten days to do. You don't even pick it back up on fucking boot leave. Um, anything else you got for him? This is getting into seven minutes. Not really. So that's our the same thing. video on uh, Marine Combat Training MCT. Uh, down in the comment section below, guys, make sure you give a little little motivation. He's a little bland. I need to just keep doing that too. I need to get more excited and rowdy because I am like a crazy dude off camera, but when a camera comes on, I'm like mellow, monotone, but I need to be more interesting for you guys. So I'm going to edit the video because it is like later than I want to be up, but we're going to get you guys videos. Um, Friday, the merch will be out possibly. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in them. It'll be on my Instagram, Facebook. So thanks for watching Bach USA. Hopefully we get a video another video for you guys tomorrow or the next day. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you all soon.